Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, all Virgos. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box. Just click the link and that will take you right to my booking site. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at your person's past energy present and future all right okay cool all right love messages past so we have libra leo leo twice here gemini okay for those of you who are on a need to know basis let's take a look at the love energy from the past keep an open mind and playfulness okay nothing serious in the past somebody was perhaps just your person not overly serious just staying open um, to the differences between the two of you um, I kind of feel like you and your person there were some some differences um, not not the I feel like you may have felt or your person felt or both of you like had a sense of like okay well this person's not my usual type of person <clears throat> but gonna keep an eye or keep an open mind on um our relationship or on this connection there's something to do here with a mother okay your person was looking or expecting i feel like someone who was just like their mother I don't know if that was in a positive or a negative way, okay? Um, you know, sometimes even when we're not looking for someone who is like a, a mother figure, um, like if the mother figure was a negative influence on somebody, we would want to go the opposite. person would want to go the opposite, but sometimes familiarity breeds... What is that contempt? I don't know. There's an energy of like still being drawn to the familiarity is what I feel. And I feel like your person um, was, it's like their mother, the mother figure was in their mind when they met you. And there may have been this like measuring thing that was going on with your person. Um, there were differences though i feel like you're whoever you were connected with felt there were differences between you and their primary caregiver okay it doesn't have to be a mother it could be a father you know depending on the gender here um but i also feel like there was a determination your person was determined to find or make connections to you with their own primary caregiver, okay? Um, and with that page of wands, I, that's kind of like, I feel like your person maybe was smitten. It's interesting because, and this is now the second time this is coming up, I did a video, a Virgo read, um, maybe it was two years ago, I think. Um, it was something to do with um, the Oedipus complex. Um, and if you get a chance, that's on my Moon Pie Tarot channel. It's in the popular loads. It had a lot of views. You might want to check that out because that's what I'm picking up here again. Okay. Um, your person, very childish or immature in a lot of ways, was looking for like a female mother figure to care for them or take care of you know, to nur nurture them in, in some way. But then they also, I feel like, rebelled against that too. <laughs> and then feels like in the past just tried to keep things kind of fun and light. Very strange, complex situation here. Okay, yeah. So they were kind of torn with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So it's like, they wanted to overcome their fears and come towards you, but then they were repelled by um, the fact that maybe you, to them, were so much like a primary caregiver to them. Let's take a look at this empress here. Oh, wow, the high priest. 
Yeah, your person saw that you, like, there was, like, they knew they could commit to you. They knew. They knew it. That's what you, re that's what you represented to them. Like, tradition and, and, like, traditional commitment and, you know, basic, like, expectations, can, like, to conform. You, they felt like you wanted them to conform into like more of a committed relationship. But I feel like there's a huge immature energy with your person in the past. Yep, Three of Cups. So on the Page of Wands, they they weren't ready. They weren't ready to make some kind of commitment to you. Um, and it has something to do with like, it's either like a fear that you're gonna be a lot like their primary caregiver, like a mother figure, or um, that you that you wouldn't be very very bizarre I, I don't think I've done a reading like this here Virgo on this channel so I'll provide the link in the um, description box to that Oedipus video and see if that resonates for you in some way because this might be this is something that you've been dealing with this person for a while this is something that may have been going on for a long time okay so the present energy though is I see a lot of communication coming from this person, trust and um, a, a new development of love here with this person. A lot of communication coming forward from them. There's joy and this person, gosh, the five of pentacles, kind of like, like a sense of um, feeling isolated. I don't feel like this person currently wants to be on their own or struggling, you know, and I feel like they're in this place where now they're coming to terms with having to trust. You know, I, it just feels like in the past that they were conflicted and they were running away. There, there might have been a fear, like I said, a fear that you were too much like their mother or a fear that you weren't enough like their mother. A lot of conflicted energy because the Knight of Swords, you know, he's like bolting in that direction and the Six of Swords is going that way. So let's take a look here. Why is the sun here for this person? Okay, the king of wands. Yeah. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. This person is like getting their confidence back is what it feels like. Having some very positive energy about you. A lot of communication coming with the eight of wands. That's like Cupid's arrows. Something's going on in the present. There might be travel. This person feels lost or is feeling lost without you is struggling could be struggling financially let's look at the eight of wands okay king of cups now is here okay so cancer scorpio pisces energy so this person is like will be communicating with you their deepest emotions and their feelings why is the five of pentacles here yep ten of wands they're dropping this burden they, this person, like, it feels like this was something to do with them or is currently, you know, in the past, whatever happened with you and your person, this is something to do with their psyche, nothing to do with you. I don't feel like you did, you know, the if you were coming across as the empress, um, that's a beautiful energy. You know, the empress, she represents abundance, fertility. Um, if you're a mother, um, she's, you know, she's a good mom. Um, she's beautiful creation this this person you know if it wasn't a mother issue it's like you were just too good to be true for them in the past and it, it's almost as if it scared them that's what I feel and so instead they just decided to keep flirting or communicating with others I don't see like cheating or anything here but just you know they hit, this person hit pay dirt with you in the past and I feel like they knew it where's my book I was gonna write I they knew that they did and yet they were it feels like they were running scared it feels like they, they were running scared or they weren't ready to make a full commitment or try to bridge the gap between the two of you but in the present I see things are changing here okay so what's happening going forward Okay, I'm not going to take that. 
So we've got flirt and it is safe for you to love. Wow. So your person, there is a fear, a real big fear. And here they are coming in, opening their heart in the future here, um, feeling a sense of safety and security to flirt, to connect with you, to manifest here. This person truly gets like 100% their confidence back. And I'm not really sure what's going on with them. But massive, major change here going forward between you and, and your loved one, your lover. There's like a turning point. There will be a turning point in the future between the two of you. Let's see this magician here. Yep. Everything is broken down or they're breaking down. They're destroying everything with the tower here. And scorpionic energy. We have Taurus as well. But it looks like, yeah, going forward, this your person, your lover, is just phew, crashing it all down. There's also an energy of a breaking of the ego here, if your person was like, because this is hitting the crown chakra. It just like comes to them, like they suddenly, out of nowhere, know what they need to do. And what do they need to do? Begin manifesting this relationship with you and becoming more focused on um com this co a commitment or even it could even be marriage for some of you okay whatever they were doing before whatever was going on in their head before is just completely like destroyed you know um how, now what does that mean for you it, it's just that there was a lot of fear with them okay if it wasn't a mother thing it was just that this person was so afraid of your glow um, there's a, there was an element here that they didn't feel like they were good enough for you. Um, and I'm not sure what changes this, if there's some kind of communication. Um, but it feels like Let me see what's bringing this confidence in these changes like what's what's building and why they're reaching out to you yep here we go again the wheel of fortune like a turning point is happening in their life it's like some kind of an epiphany or something is occurs to them in the present that they don't want to be without you that they feel like they struggle without you maybe there was absence between you and they feel the pressure of that absence Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Three of Wands. Yeah, this person. So the Three of Wands for me can sometimes represent a waiting energy. You know, the turning point is they. you'll begin to see going forward that they really start putting things out there towards you. Um, and it's like the turning point of them is they're, they're wanting to know if you'll receive them if you'll receive or bring back to them what they set out towards you. Okay, kind of like a message in a bottle. There might be some messages or something that you have sent and maybe you didn't get a response. Um, but in the future, I, I feel like they're going to message again. They're like, there's something coming up here that changes everything between the two of you, this relationship. But this is also expansion and teamwork, working together and communicating, being on the same page, open communication, opening your their heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's a giving and receiving that begins to form, which is a big change. And here's karma. That's judgment. Wow. <laughs> Total like courage to open up and confess and talk and tell you everything, not just about their past, not just about their present, but also about their desires, hopes and wishes for the future. Um, this is like clarity, this person going forward, um, like a wake up call with them. Okay, they know their life purpose here. I feel and the strength card is all about unconditional love. So there's major change happening. This person's having like some kind of massive shift or change that is just happening on their own mostly or something that occurred or something that was said or sent or gets said or sent in the present um, or coming up. 
that just shifts the energy between the two of you into a more positive place, you know? Because I'm seeing with that, it's safe for you to love. That's like this person was in, had a great fear. Maybe there was fear of abandonment or, you know, fear of being alone or fear of being without you. All right, let's take a look and see the messages here. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay, there's a healing that's happening here. I feel you even though we are apart. See, that? that's what I was feeling here with this Five of Pentacles. This person just feels just out in the cold. There's abandonment or a sense of, of they don't want to be away from you anymore, like ever again. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, this person was like a, I just see like a stray cat. They're like a stray cat coming in. Give them a bowl of milk, Virgo. <laughs> I wonder if you are happy without me. I don't feel like you are, Virgo. I don't feel like you're happy without this person. And I don't feel like they're happy without you. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So there's a major shift happening here, Virgo, in your love life with this particular person. And, and the message here is, is for you like to not rush anything. Just give this person breathing space and be present and mindful and open um, to them when they make their turn back towards you because something has shifted for them. There's a big change that's happening and support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay, so if you have a support group um, or people who can help walk you through um, this big shift, because I feel like you're going to be really surprised. This person is going to be coming in like they might be communicating with you presently here. Um, but going forward, oh, it's going to be a major shock with this like a big surprise this person coming in and with this magician energy you know very focused and um turning their dreams into reality and their dream is to be with you i feel like they were just very very fearful maybe of losing you or fearful of you not um you know maybe fearful that you might leave or not be there for them you know major fears and they have like some kind of shift that happens and boom big shit big big surprise coming in for you in the future i mean this person is they're coming they're coming to their senses i guess in some ways overcoming their fears um i feel like in the past they were trying and then they would run away and then they would try again and then run away so it might have been a lot of off and on energy in the past and keeping things surface but to them you represented um someone that they could be long term with and i don't know if this person was looking for that when they met you i don't feel like they were i feel like they were just they may not have been looking for anything or just looking just to flirt or just have fun you know maybe you guys like i was saying there were some differences and you were not like there might not have been like an initial attraction between you two, but I don't know, something happened to this person, your your lover. Some major shift happens here. And they're also getting some support, maybe talking to some friends um, or somehow waking up. This is true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And leap of faith. So your person will be taking a leap of faith with you, Virgo coming out of the woodwork and just boom out of nowhere you're going to be really needing to talk to your friends and stuff because i feel like you're going to be very happy because it's what you wanted but then it arrives at your doorstep and it's like oh, it just shocks you you might need you might need some people there to like catch you when you fall because i feel like this is just wow it's just wow, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and this reading. And uh, yeah, good luck, Virgo. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.